Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mitch Bettis. I'm the publisher of Arkansas Business. And on behalf of our staff and our sponsors, I want to welcome you to the 2020 Arkansas Business Healthcare Heroes Virtual Awards Celebration. Now, we normally celebrate these honors with a large event in Little Rock. However, with the COVID-19 situation and our subsequent inability to host an in-person gathering to celebrate healthcare providers, we're hosting this virtual celebration instead. We know our healthcare providers are under a great deal of stress and expectations in the most normal situations. But with the COVID-19 issues facing us, their challenges have only increased. And at this time, I would like to take the opportunity to recognize the sponsors of this year's Healthcare Heroes Awards. Without their generosity and support, this awards program and today's virtual celebration would not be possible. We would now like to honor this year's Lifetime Achievement Award winner, Mary Selassie Scotter of Arkansas Children's with a special video. Mary Scotter is what you might call as a household name at Arkansas Children's. She has walked these halls for a long time as a nursing leader. When I think of Mary, I think of her being a true champion for children. Mary wants to see people succeed. She wants to build strong leaders for the benefit of the children and families at Arkansas Children's Hospital and the nursing profession as a whole. She's spent her entire life devoted to care of children in Arkansas through Arkansas Children's Hospital. And expanding the Nursery Alliance, the, her leadership in that role is one of her legacies. She's always finding ways to engage other organizations or entities to really elevate the care for children across the state. But when I started here um, in the late 70s, obviously the building, the supplies, the equipment, the policies, the procedures, all of those things were vastly different. Because the hospital evolved from an orphanage setting, there really weren't accommodations for families. So my first work assignment here at Children's was in what they call the boys and girls wards. We called visiting hours as over at eight o'clock in the evening and everyone left, including the moms and dads, which for me was traumatic. I know she spent a lot of time engaging emergency departments early in her career to really help them take care of kids in the best way possible. And now she's doing the same thing through the Arkansas Children's Hospital Nursery Alliance, really engaging other institutions and hospitals um, to really elevate care for children in Arkansas. It's that more heads together actually takes you further and beyond where you didn't even know that you didn't have what you needed to have. From all of that, I think evolved a passion for evidence-based practice, a passion for good pediatric nursing education, and a passion to know that we can do this better tomorrow than we're doing it today, and you have to work hard to keep getting there. Nursing is more than just a, her, her career, it's her passion. And you can see that in how she reports to work every day and how she approaches any item or task that she, she's got in front of her. Healthcare does start with the nurse at the bedside, and that's where Mary is still rooted. She takes that intense nursing care into now her administrative role so that she can now really intensely provide um, elevated care to all pediatric patients in the state through the program she's helped develop and supports. And it's very refreshing that that is her internal, intrinsic motivation. Um, She's, she's a nurse's nurse. Our work is hard, and to know that you've got someone who will have that quiet voice, a ready smile, sitting by your side at safety huddle or some other meeting, I am privileged to work with Mary Scotter. Doing what you love, that seems like something you wouldn't have to have an award for because doing it and having the blessing of doing it every day um, is award enough. I'm proud to accept it, though, on behalf of all of my nursing colleagues and all of my colleagues in pediatrics in general, because I really believe that the work that we're doing is what will give us a bright future, because the kids and the babies are our future. Congratulations again to Mary. Thank you for joining us in this special presentation. 
If you viewed this video before watching our category award celebration, please visit our website to celebrate those finalists and winners. Thank you again to our judges. We greatly appreciate the time, thought, and effort each of you have given to the selection of this year's finalists and winners, and our sincerest gratitude to our presenting sponsor, Complete Care Incorporated, as well as our other sponsors, AFMC and Adapio Technology Partners. Without your gracious support, none of this would have been possible. Thank you for tuning into the Healthcare Heroes Virtual Awards Celebration. So please give some thought to a deserving individual, company, or organization you think should be part of next year's Healthcare Heroes Awards. Nominations are now open at arkansasbusiness.com slash healthcare nominate.